Hello and welcome to Coders Scholar. My name is Sunny Sulanki, and in today's video, I will explain how to create heat maps using Python data visualization library Matplotlib. We'll be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is heat map? Well, heat map is a type of a chart and that is used to show distribution of values of one selected data variable across two different axis variables. And the values of that selected data variable is represented as a grid of colored squares. So to explain it with simple example, I have included one sample heat map over here. So this heat map shows the number of users that visits particular website. And on X axis, I am displaying time of the year, time of the day, not time of the year, which generally starts from 12 p.m. till midnight. And on Y axis, I am displaying day of the week, which is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and so on. And these squares represent number of users. And over here, we are displaying the color bar, which is uh, created of two colors, yellow and red. So the less number of users are represented using yellow color, and the more number of users are represented using red colors and the col this color map fades from yellow to green so this is one simple example of a heat map so let's move on and create a heat map so first of all i have imported matplotlib and printed the current current version which is installed on my system so let me execute this cell so this is the latest and stable version which we will be using for our tutorial now in order to create a heat map we need data so i have decided to use a wine df data set which is available from python data visualization library scikit-learn and as you can see on my screen uh, i have loaded the data set as a pandas data frame and i have displayed the first few rows of the data set now this data set has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine so these are ingredients alcohol malic acid s and so on and there's ingredient values over there and wine type is a type of a wine so it's a categorical variable and there are three different types of wine class 0 class 1 and class 2 so we will be creating our heat map from this data frame so in all uh, we will be creating a simple heat map uh, that shows the correlation between ingredients of our wine data set so in order to do that i need to create a new data frame named wine core df and i need to calculate the correlation between ingredients so how can i do that so i can simply call core method on our original wine df data frame so let me show you the content of the wine core df so as you can see it has a correlation between ingredients of our original data frame so the ingredient the ingredient names are displayed as column names and as index as well so relation uh, in correlation between alcohol with itself is one correlation between alcohol and malic acid is 0 0.09 and so on and as you can see the values are varying from minus 1 to 1 so all right so let's go ahead and create heat map which shows this correlation between these ingredients so first of all i will import matplotlib.pyplot we'll be creating charts using pyplot api now in order to create a chart first i need to create a figure object so i will create a figure of size 11 by 11 and now in order to create heat map we'll be using a method available from pyplot name imshow now this method is used to show images generally so it accepts either two dimensional array or three dimensional array three dimensional numpy array or two dimensional numpy array you can also give two dimensional list of list or three dimensional python list of list so over here 
we can simply give our wine core df and it will take the contents of this wine core df and create a image so right let me execute this and show you the contents so as you can see uh, it has displayed the contents of this data frame correlation data frame as an image and by default uh, it uses a color map called viridis so we can change color map using c map parameter so there are many different color maps available in matplotlib so there is a color map named blues which we can try so this will improve the look of the our heat map and yeah as you can see now this one looks better so in order to see values distribution i need to show color bar as well so let me call color bar method from pyplot so it will display color bar all right so here on the right side we have color bar now it is showing the values as well which is starting from nearly mi minus 0 0.5 till 1 so let's go ahead and modify the tick labels and add title as well so we have around 13 ingredients so 13 and wine or df of index will be labels same we will do for y ticks and let's set title location let's set it on left font dict let's modify font size and font color and font weight as well font size of title i will set to 20 so title looks little bit bigger and font weight i will set to bold to make text look a bit bolder so i think that's it let me change the font size of x as well And I will keep, uh, let's keep 14 as tick labels. So let me execute this cell and show you how our modified heat map looks. All right, so now we have our heat map ready. So for y axis, we have properly, um, properly aligned ticks, but for x axis, I can see ticks are overriding one another. So how can I resolve that? So over here for x-axis, there is a parameter name rotation, which we can set to values from 0 to 360 uh, in degrees. So I will I want to uh, rotate the labels or ticks for x-axis by 90 degree. So I can set rotation by 90. So let me set that. So now, now you can see that uh, labels are not overriding one another. So you can set any, you know, any angle which you want to set. So here we have our heat map ready. And as you can see, it looks better. So uh, what I will do is that I will first change uh, this uh, color map because as you can see, we have correlation values from one to minus one. And I want that we use three different colors to represent we use color map which has three colors to represent the values of correlation so one values near one will go with one color value is near zero will go with another color and values near minus one will go with the third color so there is a one color map which i know which is yellow green and blue So let me try that one All right so now as you can see we have a chart with oh, three different colors used to represent correlation values now as you can see uh, we generally have correlation in the range minus one to one 
but for many of our ingredients uh, relations are starting from minus 0.5 till 1 and i want to change this range so i want that zero goes over here so zero is represented by green color properly one by blue and minus one by yellow so i can set two parameters which are v min and v max to tell the range of values if we don't like the default range which in our case is minus 0 0.5 to 1 so i can say v minimum should start from 1.0 minus 1 and v max should go till 1.0 so let me execute this cell and show the result all right now the chart looks better as you can see it's starting from minus one so values near minus one are represented with yellow values near zero are now proper green and values near one are blue so yeah uh, this uh, heat map looks uh, quite better compared to our initial heat map so now uh, what i will do before ending this tutorial is that i will add the correlation values in these squares now matplotlib charts are static and we don't have uh, interactive charts where we can hover over any square and see the value correlation value so if you want to see correlation value in chart so we can add that so i will copy this code over here and let me add logic for adding correlation value text in each of the square so in order to do that uh, I will create a loops I will create a two loops one inside another so we have a list of correlation values as uh, 13 by 13 matrix available over here so we'll look through values one by one in row wise fashion all the values of first row and second row and third row and so on so we can use two loops for that so for i in range we have 13 elements and then for j in range again we have 13 ingredients so now we can uh, look through values of our wine code here we can like i colon j so it will look through all the values for first row all the columns it will go through and we will have values now in order to display text there is a method named plt deck dot text available and over here we can give x and y coordinates so x coordinate is i y coordinate is z j and third value is string so text that we want to display uh, in that square so over here i will say 2f so we have our correlation with uh, Two numbers after decimal points so i will copy this wine code here here right and let me execute this one and show you how it looks and then we will modify it again to improve the look further yeah so as you can see the by default the color is black and it's not aligned properly so what i will do is that i will first do horizontal alignment so h is the parameter that let us specify horizontal alignment so i will set it to center let's see yeah now we have now we have our correlation in center of the square so i think we can specify font dict over here or i think we can specify font size directly so let me try that yeah so what i will do let's keep it to 12 i will say font weight to bold and let me set size to 10 let me set color as well so i will set color as tomato so let me execute this one and show you the result all right now this one looks better so instead of tomato let me use a red color so it will pop out a bit 
yeah and now we have our correlation chart ready and the title is uh, too near to our chart so let me add padding of n yeah now title has moved a bit so we have our final heat map ready showing the correlation between ingredients of our wine data set and yeah now this one looks quite better compared to our initial chart now we have correlation values also displayed as a text in each of the square so yeah that's it for this tutorial so we introduce a method name im show from pyplot uh, submodule of uh, matplotlib im show is used to show images generally but we can use it to create heat maps as well so yeah that's it for the today's video if you're interested in learning more about python and data visualization machine learning ai and so on then i would recommend that you visit our website coders column and we have a plenty of tutorials on all all these topics which you can explore further so yeah that's it for the day see you next time